Welcome, here we are, and we're going to look at changing picture files and position. We're going to look at changing the text and modifying and creating hyperlinks. Let's start with changing the picture file. So here we have an article. It's an old article. Learning is in full swing. We've got our text and we've got our picture, but these don't apply anymore. We want something new. So the first thing we will do is we will just take your picture here and double click on it. Automatically, a window should pop up insert an image right now here's the image that's there images that's in the images folder slash dscn 0108 this is the file that is there right now here it is but we don't want that file anymore we want a different one here we can select an image from our folder by clicking it we want to make sure that we're in the site folder and in the images folder where all of our images should be and we're just going to scroll down until we find the image that we want. In this case, I'm going to use a picture of my beautiful wife, Charity. So there, now it changed to images slash charity.jpg because that's the name and the path of the file. Alternate text. Blue Griffin wants you to put in alternate text before. It'll say OK. So I'm going to put in charity. Now I can hit OK. And when I do... Now Charity's picture pops up here instead of the old one. That's good. What if you want to move? What if you want to move the file somewhere else? If you want to move it lower in the picture, that's easy. Excuse me, in the article, that's easy. You just move it down. Say you want it here, or really wherever the cursor is. You can you can kind of see it. It's up by the G there. It's behind the picture. But whatever line you put it on, it'll line the top of the picture with that line. So say we want the very bottom. No, no, we don't want it the very bottom. We want it maybe up here. Okay. But you want it in the other on the other side. You don't want it on the right, you want it on the left. Unfortunately, right now the only way I know how to do that is to go into source. So let's do that. Make sure that your picture is selected and come down to these two options here. And we're gonna go to source. When we go to source. Our cursor will already be directly where the image is. The alternate text is charity. The file is here. I'm going to actually have to change that a little bit. And then a line. A line. Right now it's a line to the right. We're just going to type in all lowercase l-e-f-t. Left. And then we're going to go back to our design view. And there it is to, to the left. Real quickly, double click on the page. Always make sure that you make your URL relative to the page location. Sorry about that, that I didn't do that before. If you don't, it's going to kind of mess you up. Uh, here, this is not where you want the path to go. You don't want it to go to files. You don't want it to go to your C drive and blah, 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 blah. You want it to go relative to the path, just images slash charity. Because when it gets on the website, the path is not going to go to your home computer to your users. It's going to go to the images folder. That's what you want. So make sure that you make it relative to the page location. Okay, so we'll hit, oh, now it doesn't like that. I'm gonna hit a space and backspace here so we can hit okay again. Okay, so we've got our picture where we want it. We like the positioning of our picture, the size. If you don't like the size, whoop, make it bigger. That's okay, or smaller. All right, next we want to change the text because this is old text still so um, if you've typed something up if you want to type something up just start typing so uh, we can select some of this here let's see maybe no okay ah okay we're gonna select this text ah. if you select outside of the area it's not gonna like that And I get to a certain spot and I'm actually selecting the picture. I don't really want to do that either. So I'm going to move her picture up to the very beginning. There we go. Now I'm going to select the text. If I can. Okay, there we go. I'm going to select this text and delete it. Now I should be ready to start typing. Um, in the beginning. Okay. If I don't want to do that, if I already have something prepared, 
say a student or somebody else in your organization wrote something they might have wrote it in a word document so just select the text that they've created copy it and then come back to blue griffin and then paste your text boom there it is look at that that was so easy so we've got our new text here we've got our new picture and we might change this too so um, Charity is my wife. Okay. So, we know how to change the text. It's very simple. Very, very simple. If I don't like the formatting, I can kind of change that a little bit if I want to. You can do anything you want. So, I'm just going to remove some spaces here to make it a little more. Okay, double spaced no tabs just depending on what kind of format you want it's up to you of course but this just gives you an idea of what to do okay so I like this I like the title I like the picture now last but not least to make your website more interactive having hyperlinks is a great idea so up at the very top of the page we have a hyperlink so somebody can email Mission Creek uh, here's one that takes us to our education page. I'm just going to real quickly show you. You know about hyperlinks. It's it's not anything new. Preview in browser in Chrome. I'm going to say okay. If you don't have one, choose application. Find out where your browser is and choose your exe file. So I'm going to choose Chrome. This is not the published website. This is just my page opened in a browser. So if I click on educational facility, education, it's going to bring me straight to the education center page with all the information, which also needs updated right now. That just shows me that there's interaction that I can partic participate in. I can also hyperlink a picture if I want. I can hyperlink, you can hyperlink just about anything you want to. Anyway, you already know about hyperlinks, but now you get to know how to make hyperlinks. So we're gonna go back down to our article and we're going to say that um, we want somebody to know something about whatever you have going on. We're going to say necessary. We're just going to pick a word. Or you can pick a whole line. You don't usually pick a whole line. Just pick a word or two. So Old Testament. How about that? Old Testament. Now, if you come up here to this link, it says insert or edit a link. So we want to insert a link using the phrase Old Testament. So... Now oh, look what it did. He explained the parable. This this copied everything I just put in there. So I'm going to control A and then delete. I don't want all that in there. I want this to go to a place, another file that I have. It's not going to be in images this time. So I'm going to go up and to the building page. Okay, I'm going to go to the building page. I want the Old Testament link to go to the building page. And it's not an email address. Make it relative to the page location. Do you see the difference there? Blah, 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 versus building.html. And if I want to open the link somewhere else, I might want to open it, and I would prefer to open it in the current frame. We're not going to really talk about frames, but uh, opening it in the current frame is a really good idea for this website. Okay, so now we have our link here. I'm going to open up the browser again, and we're going to check out Oh look, Old Testament is in blue, and look, when I hover over it, I get a little hand. Okay, now there are broken links here, don't like that. Home will take me back. Okay, so there's something messed up we want to fix. Now this took me to the actual website, HTML, or mcoutreach.org. If you need to modify your link, you know how to do that. Double click on it, building.htm. I don't like the building.htm page. I want to put it on the Mission Creek story page instead. Now I'm going to check it out and see what happens. Old Testament hyperlinked. Where's it hyper? Ah, look, Mission Creek story. That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Okay, good. We've got it. That works. So we just looked at changing the picture files in position, which we did here. You can put any picture you want. Make sure when you take a picture with your camera and you upload it onto your personal computer or the computer you're using, put it into the files, put it into the, excuse me, into the images 
folder. Then we changed the text. You can either start typing or you can copy and paste from somewhere else. And we know how to either edit or to create a hyperlink. Excuse me. And always make it relative to the page location. Okay, we'll see you later.